this lesson, we will look at two examples of determining the measure of angles from a given diagram. The first example involves vertical angles and adjacent angles. Vertical angles are opposite angles that are formed by two intersecting lines. Vertical angles have the same measure. Looking at this diagram of two intersecting lines, we have two pair of vertical angles. Angle B and angle D are vertical angles and have the same measure. Angle A and angle C are vertical angles and have the same measure. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common side. Adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines as we have here are also supplementary, meaning the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. And we have several pair of adjacent angles that are also supplementary. Notice angle A and angle B share a common side this side here. These angles are adjacent angles and are also supplementary. Angle B and angle C are adjacent angles and are also supplementary. Angle C and angle D are adjacent and supplementary as well as angle A and angle D. Going back to the question, notice angle X and angle Z are vertical angles as well as angle Y and the given angle that measures 76 degrees. And because vertical angles are equal in measure, the measure of angle Y must be 76 degrees. Next, notice that angle X and the given angle that measures 76 degrees are adjacent angles and are also supplementary, which means the measure of angle X plus 76 degrees must equal 180 degrees, and therefore the measure of angle X must equal 180 degrees minus 76 degrees, which equals 104 degrees. Finally, notice angle X and angle Z are vertical angles and therefore have the same measure. The measure of angle Z must be 104 degrees. Let's look at the second example. Looking at the diagram, notice how we do have a right angle here. Angle KVM is a right angle and measures 90 degrees. We're also given the measure of angle LVN is 74 degrees and the measure of angle KVL is 39 degrees. We're asked to determine the measure of these three angles. Notice angle KVN is the large angle, and therefore the measure of angle KVN must equal the measure of angle KVL plus the measure of angle LVN. And we have the measure of these two angles, so let's first find the measure of angle KVN. The measure of angle KVN must equal 39 degrees plus 74 degrees. which is equal to 113 degrees. Next, let's find the measure of angle MVL. Notice angle MVL is this angle here. If we focus on the right angle, angle KVM, notice how this tells us that angle MVL and angle LVK are complementary, which means the sum of the measures of the angles must equal 90 degrees and therefore the measure of angle MVL must equal 90 degrees minus 39 degrees. So again, the measure of angle MVL must equal 90 degrees minus 39 degrees, which equals 51 degrees. To check out work, let's label this angle. If this angle is 51 degrees, Notice how 51 degrees plus 39 degrees equals 90 degrees, and these two angles together do form the right angle, angle KVM. Now let's go back up to part A and determine the measure of angle MVL, which is this angle here, angle MVL. Well, notice how the measure of angle LVM plus the measure of angle MVN must equal the measure of angle LVN which is 74 degrees, and therefore the measure of angle MVN must equal 74 degrees minus 51 degrees. Well, 74 degrees minus 51 degrees is equal to 23 degrees. And therefore the measure of angle MVN equals 23 degrees. Let's go ahead and label this and check our work. 
if this is 23 degrees, notice how 23 degrees plus 51 degrees equals 74 degrees, which is the measure of angle L, V, N, this angle here. And therefore, our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.